Aloha, today we will be talking to you about conserving Hawaiian monk seals. My name is Elliot and I will be followed by Michelle, Emily, and Elizabeth. First, let us cover some background information regarding Hawaiian monk seals. Its scientific name is Neomonychus chanslandi. They are one of two Hawaiian endemic mammals, with the other being the Hawaiian hoary bat, and they are also one of three species of, of monk seal, with the other two being the Mediterranean monk seal and the Korean monk seal. Unfortunately, the Caribbean monk seal was confirmed to be extinct in the late 2000s. The Hawaiian monk seal first arrived in Hawaii around 14 million years ago, which gives it an ample amount of time to evolve and adapt to the environment of Hawaii. As for their appearance, on average they weigh between 375 to 450 pounds, with the females being slightly larger than the males. The pups are born weighing in at around 35 pounds and 3 feet long, with a dark black coat that is shed for the recognizable silver gray coat on the adult Hawaiian monk seal. Other defining and important features of the monk seal are their lack of ears, where instead they have ear holes, classifying them as phocids or earless seals. They also have short front flippers that help them crawl on their bellies on land, which is especially useful when they want to tan on sandy beaches. The Hawaiian monk seal has a wide variety of habitats. Most live in the northwestern Hawaiian islands, but some live within the main Hawaiian islands. They live in the warm subtropical waters of Hawaii, and they use deep water coral beds for foraging, shallow water reef for pupping, weaning, and more foraging, and they use sandy beaches for tanning and to potentially escape predators found in the ocean. Hawaiian monk seals are classified as generalist feeders, meaning they can feed on a wide variety of food found in the ocean such as fish, eel, octopus, and crustacean. They typically do not go after the game fish of Hawaii such as the ulua, the giant trevally, or o'io, the bonefish. They can hold their breaths for up to 20 minutes and dive to depths greater than 1800 feet. They have a life expectancy of more than 30 years and they have a reproductive age of around 5 to 6 years in the main Hawaiian islands where it's a bit older in the northwestern Hawaiian islands at around 7 to 10 years before they start reproducing. They have a gestation period of around 10 to 11 months. After the pup is born, the pup is then nursed for about one month. Within the Hawaiian culture, the most common Hawaiian name for Hawaiian monk seals is Iliaholo Iko Ua Ua, which roughly translates to dog running in the rough sea. However, within the Kumulipo, the Hawaiian creation chant, they reference as Iole Holo Iko Ua Ua, with Iole meaning rat. This is because Hawaiians believe the Hawaiian monk seal were the nibblers of the sea, typically feeding on the smaller fish, as mentioned previously. They were also confirmed to have a low metabolism relative to their body size. Within the Hawaiian community, there are certain stories that are passed down. For example, there was Kua the shark's god's punishment, where he was jealous of two lovers and made one lover a Hawaiian monk seal and the other a butterfly, so they physically could not be together. The Hawaiian monk seal also has a connection to Lono, the Hawaiian god of peace. They were mentioned in the legend of Ho'iloa, who is known to be an ancestor of the Hawaiians. The Hawaiian monk seal was mentioned as Ilio Holo Ika Ua Ua A Lono, which roughly translates to dog running to the voice of Lono. Among Kumu Honua, which was the first man to appear in Hawaii, there are animals such as the Hawaiian monk seal and Kapua Nui Hihi Manu A Kane, which translates to the large Hihi Manu hog of Kane. From behavioral, evolutionary, and conservation perspectives, the Hawaiian monk seals have great auditory abilities in which they can undergo underwater communication. Throughout millions of years, Hawaiian monk seals have developed auditory structures which differentiates them from their related species due to their experience with isolation. There has been a research study done on a trained male Hawaiian monk seal at the Sea Life Park on Oahu, Hawaii for an underwater hearing test in which he was tested based on his response to sounds. This study was done over a six month period and measured auditory thresholds from 2 to 48 kilohertz. The results of the study showed that Hawaiian monk seals hearing is the most sensitive between 12 to 28 kilohertz. The Hawaiian monk seals are endemic to both the main Hawaiian islands and the northwestern Hawaiian islands, and they are considered one of the most endangered marine mammals. 
the Hawaiian monk seal population is estimated to be around 1,400 seals in total. This is because in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands, there is about 1,100 seals, whereas in the main Hawaiian Islands, there is only about 300 seals. The graph shown here depicts the average number of annual beach counts of the Hawaiian monk seals at the six most studied northwestern Hawaiian Islands subpopulations. Overall, the total number of monk seals in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands have been declining. This graph shows the prolonged decline of the Hawaiian monk seal population in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands after the late 1950s and until very recently. Some of the primary reasons for their population decline during the past 25 years is due to low juvenile survival and inadequate availability of prey. What is currently being done towards the Hawaiian monk seal population is advancement towards the juvenile monk seal research based on enhancing their survival. However, some monk seals are portraying behaviors that show to be beneficial to their population, such as the female monk seals taking care of the pups from another female. In addition to that, there is a significant growth in the main Hawaiian Islands monk seal subpopulation which is going from low numbers to approximately 300 monk seals over the past two or more decades. Overall, species population growth has been about 3% each year between 2014 and 2016. Now that we have seen a little bit about what makes these seals so special, let's look at some of the threats that Hawaiian monk seals face today. There are many causes of death for Hawaiian monk seals that differ between the main Hawaiian islands and northwest Hawaiian islands. In the main Hawaiian islands, we see primarily fishing interactions, toxoplasmosis and other diseases, and trauma either by humans or dogs as the main causes. While in the northwest Hawaiian islands, we see that shark predation, climate change leading to habitat loss, malnutrition, and male seal aggression are the primary causes of death. Let's start by looking a little more closely at the main causes of death for seals in the main Hawaiian Islands. A recent study classified the different causes of death into three groups. The blue are anthropogenic or human factors. The green are what were classified as natural and the disease or are shown here in red and orange. Of particular interest is the difference we see in the adult female population where there's much higher rates of protozoal disease that are leading to uh, death of adult female seals. This is especially important because adult females are key to maintaining population growth rate and viability. This protozoal disease is primarily toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis is a disease spread by a parasite that develops in the guts of cats and moves through the environment via their feces. Eventually it can end up in waterways and infect marine life as well. There's no vaccination available to protect Hawaiian monk seals from toxoplasmosis. And the problem is severe. As we see on Oahu, there's an estimated more than 300,000 feral cats just on that one island alone, all of which can potentially spread this disease. Fishing interactions are another serious threat to Hawaiian monk seals. The photo here shows a seal with a piece of fishing line coming out of its mouth. This fishing line or other net or marine debris that can entangle the seals can lead to their drowning when it gets tangled or caught in corals and rocks. Seals, as we know, just like us, need to breathe. Shark predation is also a major concern, especially in the northwestern Hawaiian islands. You can note in the photo on the right hand side how close the sharks come into shore in some areas. Climate change has serious implications for Hawaiian monk seals as well. 
as sea levels rise, we see that terrestrial habitat is decreasing, and this leads to increased pup drowning and shark predation. This series of photos shows the impact of a rising sea level and storms over time in the French frigate shoals. Note on the photo at the top left that Whalesgate Island in 1962 had a large vegetated area in the center of the island. Now, Whalesgate Island is continually submerged and no longer suitable habitat for Hawaiian monk seals. Similarly, if you look to the photo of Trigg Island, you see that there is very little remaining as of 2019. And the photos in the bottom show that in addition to sea level rise, these islands are very vulnerable to the impact from storms. Following Hurricane Wallaka in 2018, we see irreversible damage was done to East Island. As seals lose habitat, they no longer have access to important protected areas where they can mate and raise their pups. So while we see that they do face lots and lots of challenges, there's also reason for hope, and there are many people working together to save this important species. You are all encouraged to take a look at the NOAA Fisheries website for Hawaiian monk seal updates to see what the latest status is on seals in the main Hawaiian islands, and news items come out often. Before coming to the islands, it is important to note that there are a series of conservation efforts and laws that have been put into place to protect these amazing marine animals, along with others as well. NOAA Fisheries is an agency set up by the U.S. Department of Commerce to focus on marine conservation and wildlife. They engage in a variety of conservation efforts, such as protecting marine habitats, educating the public on ways to protect these animals, aiding in the rehabilitation of monk seals, treating any injuries they may have sustained, and even vaccinating them against diseases. Monk seals are protected under the Endangered Species Act and the Marine Mammal Protection Act. The Endangered Species Act is the primary law in the U.S. that protects endangered species. The Marine Mammal Protection Act was also put into effect by the U.S. Congress, but is specific towards the conservation and protection of marine wildlife and ecosystems. Here in Hawaii, harassment of a monk seal or any other endangered species in any way is considered a Class C felony and is punishable by imprisonment or fines. Along with these laws, many agencies that are responsible for marine protection and rescue respond to monk seal sightings and install a perimeter around the monk seal, as well as install signs to warn the public not to approach. There are several conservation groups, such as the Hawaiian Monk Seal Education Ohana, that are civilian-led and aim to educate the public about helping monk seals. They educate people on how to remove hooks that are caught on seals how to block them off when they are sunbathing, and more. What can you do? First of all, giving them space. Although it may be tempting to approach these monk seals, getting too close can actually severely stress them out. It is best to observe them from a distance of at least 50 feet. Oftentimes, monk seals will be surrounded by cones or ropes. It is best to re respect the perimeter that has been set up and remain behind it. Getting too close to a monk seal is considered harassment, which can be not only dangerous to you if the seal attacks, but can also get you in legal trouble. Remember, if the monk seal is looking at you or has changed its behavior, it means you are too close. Secondly, pick up your trash. Oftentimes, trash left on the beach ends up in our oceans, in which they easily get mistaken for food by the monk seals. This can lead to their entrapment in your trash or even ingestion causing them to get hurt or even die. Try participating in beach cleanups or use hydro flasks to minimize trash ending up in our oceans. When you leave the beach, try to leave it better than you found it. Reduce your carbon footprint. Climate change plays a role in monk seal habitats. The burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas is affecting our climate. Try installing solar panels, support businesses with eco-friendly packaging, and try composting. Report any harassment. Since monk seals are protected under several laws, if you see someone harassing a monk seal in any way, call 911 immediately. And spread the word. Many people are intrigued by these animals, but are unaware of how protected they are. Inform others that are too close to the monk seals to step back, respect the monk seal, and respect the law. These are the references that were used in this presentation if you would like to learn more about Hawaiian monk seals.